looking for the perfect small dog for your family? This series of all the small dog breeds may make the decision a bit easier. Let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z, starting with the Maltese. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you can find a link to them in the description. A companion dog dating back to ancient Roman times, the Maltese is a lap dog through and through. Words often used to describe ye ancient dog of Malta include fearless, friendly, and sociable. This little dog is full of energy and always ready to have fun with his favorite human. These dogs have been bred to be companions since antiquity. In fact, they were bred to be all white because Romans wanted their little dogs to have an air of divinity. Originally bred in 16th century England as a ratter, the Manchester Terrier is now considered a toy breed and spends more time playing with humans than on the trail of vermin. This lively, curious, and playful small dog is sometimes called the Gentleman's Terrier. It's energetic, intelligent, and playful, making it a good choice for active families. Even though they are full of energy, they are very adaptable and will mold themselves to whatever lifestyle you have. After they have spent all their energy with a good play sesh, they can sit or sleep quietly on you while you watch Netflix. The Miki breed is a rare small dog breed that has been bred mixing three small dogs, the Maltese, the Papillon, and the Japanese Chin. They weigh between 5 to 8 pounds, but can be smaller. The breed is a highly intelligent little dog that can charm anyone. A plus is that it's a non-shedding breed with hair instead of fur, great for those with allergies. Although no dog should be considered 100% hypoallergenic before spending some time with the breed. What sets this breed apart from mixed breed dogs? Strict breeding programs with DNA profiling through the United Kennel Club. A relatively new breed, first bred in the U.S. in the 1960s, the miniature American Shepherd is a small stock herding dog and companion. Energetic, versatile, and bright are just a few ways to describe these little herding dogs that resemble their larger cousin, the U.S. native and oddly named Australian Shepherd. Miniature American Shepherd fanciers think of them as great family dogs that are gentle with children, tolerant of other dogs and family pets, and a pleasure to be around. The Miniature Bull Terrier is identical to the Bull Terrier except for the size. Personality, grooming, health, and training requirements are all the same. And, in fact, both breeds were classified as one until 1991 when the AKC made them two separate breeds. They want to be part of the action and will insist on being including in all family activities, even if it's just for a ride in a car. Being terriers, though, they will keep you entertained with their funny antics and cute personality traits. Their protective nature makes them great watchdogs, but they are generally friendly with guests once they get acquainted. On the other hand, the miniature pincer is not a tiny version of the larger Doberman pincer. In fact, the breed is about 100 years older than the Dobie. These little dogs are surprisingly playful and athletic and love to play with everyone. If a small, cute, and playful dog is something you might be interested in, then check out the men pen and you might have found your perfect match. The miniature schnauzer is no stranger to this channel. In fact, it's made quite a few appearances in various videos here over the years. The breed was named for its distinctive muzzle. Schnauzer means snout or small beard in German. It is an intelligent, confident dog and responds well to training. They are eager to please and loyal to their family. They are active and appreciate a daily walk and romps in a yard. Since they are so versatile, they make great pets for people in apartments, city living, or suburban and rural locations. Best of all, this breeds scream personality. The Norfolk Terrier, though rare in the U.S., is an active, outgoing companion that can also be a hard-working, fearless hunter. At only 12 pounds, this is a little dog with a huge personality. Calling it tenacious and independent may be a bit of an understatement, but they exude charm and affection to their owners. 
The Norwegian Lunderhund may not be too big, but it has a mischievous and intelligent personality that keeps it quite busy. Whether they're digging a hole in the yard or barking at squirrels, these dogs have plenty of curious energy. The Norwegian Lunderhund is famous for being an ancient breed. Research suggests that these dogs have been living around and in cooperation with humans for thousands of years, perhaps before the last ice age. Not to be confused with the aforementioned Norfolk Terrier, the Norwich Terrier is also a general purpose ratter bred in England in the 19th century. The difference between the two is that the Norwich has prick upright ears, while the Norfolk Terrier has floppy ears. They are short little terriers and their cute faces somewhat resemble a fox. This breed's cute appearance and trainability make them very popular in Hollywood and TV commercials. The Norwich Terrier is a very active and playful pup with very high spirits and high energy levels. They are not to be mistaken for lap dogs. The Papillon, with its butterfly ears, is also no stranger to fans of this channel. The first thing that most people notice about this breed is the ears that stand erect and are set high on the head. Hair grows and drapes over the ears in long fringes, creating the appearance of butterfly wings. These dainty, friendly dogs are alert, highly intelligent, and very trainable, making them an ideal choice for families, singles, and couples. As adaptability goes, they thrive in the city, the suburbs, and the country basically anywhere, but they have become very popular in cities as ideal condo or apartment dwellers. Other than the name, the Parson Russell Terrier is a Jack Russell Terrier. Although some would argue there are differences in shape and size, the main reason for the difference in name boils down to controversy with the AKC and trademark claims by the Jack Russell Terrier Club of America. That said, these dogs are hyper and crazy and love to run, bark, bounce, and climb. They will climb over fences and run out open doors and gates, so keep this in mind when bringing in the groceries or leaving the gate open. Like the JRT, they are quite stubborn and independent and can be difficult for novice pet parents. Bred to be a hunting dog that can run and hunt fox, badger, and other small mammals, the Patterdell Terrier is incredibly energetic, loyal, and independent. Although bred to hunt, many just live in family homes where they are family members and loyal companions. Don't let their size surprise you though. Their tenacity rivals any terrier breed, and their need for a great deal of exercise should be taken into consideration. The Lion Dog of Imperial China, today known as the Pekingese, is a loyal and courageous companion dog that dates back to antiquity. Fearless and smart, they make great companions, but they are known to be difficult to train. Their size, coupled with their minimal exercise requirements, makes them a popular choice as apartment dogs. Named after the capital of China, Peking, known now as Beijing, was originally bred by Buddhist monks. These dogs remained the companion of royalty and lived only in the imperial palace. The early admirers of the breed were so enamored with their lion dogs that they raised their status to royalty and gave the dogs their own personal servants. I mentioned in a formal video in this series that there are two breeds of corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the more popular of the two. Once one breed, both types of corgis are now separate breeds, with the most noticeable difference being that of the tail. The cardigan has a long, thick tail, whereas the Pembroke has a stub or no tail at all. Other than that, the Pembroke has a shorter body, straighter legs, and ears that point to a tip and stand erect. Having been originally developed to be a herder of cattle, they are now often loyal family pets. They still retain their herding instincts though, so if you have small children, they are likely to be herded. The breed has plenty of energy, which means they need regular daily exercise to keep them happy, and they need a job to do. Enjoying learning about all these small dogs? Here's a link to the playlist, or you can find the other videos in the description. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. We'll start the list off with the Peruvian Hairless and visit some popular breeds like the Poodle and Pomeranian next episode. And as always, catch you next time.